Hi guys, Luck Fog here and welcome back to another video and today we are doing the FIFA 17 Legend review and today we are going to be reviewing the 87 rated Italian Legend Gennaro Gattuso. He cost me 120,000 coins and in the 8 games that I played of him, he scored me 0 goals and got me 3 assists. He has a medium high work rate along with a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. So let's now get into his in-game stats and highlights. Okay, guys, so you love towards Gattuso in game stats. The four main stats on his card would stand out to me are his 92 interceptions, his 92 stand tackle, his 94 strength, and his 96 aggression. He has the two specialists of tactician and strength, along with the one trait of team player. And, guys, getting off in towards the pros for Gattuso, for me, his first pro was his interceptions. He does have, 90, he does have 92 positions, like I mentioned earlier. And for me, his interceptions were fantastic in game. Very, very good in terms of being able to obviously intercept the ball and then make good passes to my attack, whether that be Neymar, Suarez, Messi or Cavani. He was very, very good at doing that and it was definitely one of his big pros uh, to this card. Uh, and then for me, his second pro is his passing which is quite a surprising one. He only has 72 passing on his card, which I'm going to go and say that is woeful for this stage of FIFA. However, uh, his long passing wasn't that good, which obviously is a bit of a concern. However, his through balls were out of this world. They were fantastic. Unfortunately, a lot of the through balls which he did create, I couldn't really finish off with my uh, attack, which is quite a, a big shame. Otherwise, he would have had a lot more of a system than the three and eight that he did get but for me his through balls were fantastic when using this card in terms of being able to create chances so i was very very pleased to see that from gattuso and then for me his final pro is his regaining a possession of, of the ball so this is basically his defending tackling physical interceptions all kind of coming into one in terms of being able to kind of regain position of the ball very very well if i ever lost the ball he was one of those players that was going to be able to regain position of the ball and then start an attack off of my team with the likes of his good through ball. So I was very, very impressed to see that from Gattuso's card. However, it kind of goes downhill from here on. Uh, for me, his first con is his skill moves. Two-star skill moves isn't good enough for this stage of FIFA. Uh, you want to have someone in the midfield that's going to have three stars, maybe even four-star skill moves as a minimum. And Gattuso is just way off of that. So I know a lot of foot champs players... Will be maybe put off. Will maybe be put off by that. Um, for definite, that like two star skill just isn't good enough at the moment. Uh, and then the second con is his lacking of critical stats. He has 66 pace, 55 shots, 65 dribbling, and 72 passing on his in-game. Uh, sorry, on his base card stats. And believe me, in-game stats they look a lot worse. You go into footbin or footer and you look on his stats overall. All you're going to see is lots of oranges, yellows, and reds. Which is very concerning when you're paying over 100,000 coins to this guy. Um, I mean, yeah, I mentioned that his passing was pretty good, which it was. But his dribbling, shooting, and, p and pace, which are pretty important on a midfielder, were just way off. Um, really, really way bad. Uh, I think there's even silver team in seasons that I got like completely better stats than than, than Gattuso um, and I actually want to compare him to team of the season Dendonka now team of the season Dendonka costs 40,000 coins on the Xbox compared to Gattuso's 120,000 coins so there's an already 80k difference in price I'll try and compare the two if I um, remember to put them on the screen uh, to kind of show price differences and all that kind of stats and stuff now comparing some of the in-game stats Dendonka's got 94 ball control to compare to Gattuso's 74 ball control that's a big big difference and ball control is very very important to the midfielder and you can see Gattuso was way off Dendonka and Dendonka also has the likes of 92 slide tackle and 99 reactions where Gattuso is nowhere near that and Gattuso on his in-game stats has 55 dribbling uh, and 83 long passing 83 long passing at this stage of FIFA isn't good either as well for a centre midfielder but 55 dribbling on his in-game stats is horrific if I'm quite honest and um uh, it kind of leads on to the last kind of con that he's just too expensive. He really is too expensive. Now, 120,000 coins, I would think that a lot of people would have that amount of coins at this stage of FIFA available to them. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it at all. If I was reviewing this guy in November 2016, I'd probably say, yes, he maybe is worth it. But uh, And I'd also probably say he would be worth it. If, let's just say, for example, the discard price was still 25,000 coins like it has been for Legends in previous years compared to the 100,000 coins that it is now. He'd probably be going on the market for around about 60 to 50k and in that case i'd probably say that he would be worth it mainly because he can link in with other players uh from any league around the world and that he does actually have some good pros to his card but overall there's just so many better alternatives to this card that i wouldn't recommend going with this legend gattuso overall so i'm going to give him a 6.5 out of 10 but anyway guys that is going to finish off this legend review i hope you have enjoyed watching and i'll see you guys later